This is where I sit when I use my computer. And this piece of furniture uh, I use as a divider. As com coming into the house, it's like a wall. So I put it this way vertically. And uh, I have a small laptop that I enjoy using very much. I don't, I'm not an expert, but I, I can send my photographs wherever I want and email, look up things on internet. <laughs> this I bought for my daughter for her room when she was a teenager. And this is my typewriter from when I was working on my doctorate in Spain. I can't get a ribbon for it, but this is my beautiful one for typewriter with Spanish type. Mm -hmm. I can't get Spanish type on my uh, computer. I, mean, I haven't been able to. I can by individual letters, but I can't just type in Spanish. So the word for um, year in Spanish, someone told me, if you have a cedilla above it, above the N, año, it means year. But since I don't have those things, I don't have cedilla or accents, I write without it. So if I say, Happy New Year to somebody, in Spanish, what I'm really saying is happy anus. <laughs> because that's the word without the, uh, without the cedilla. So I don't know what to do. So lately I've been writing A-N-I-O for año. I mean, it's very annoying. I don't know how to get, because I write to friends in Spain. This little thing, uh, when we first moved into the apartment, I asked my husband to drill in the wall. I had these shelves, and we put that shelf up. And then uh, my daughter, who lives up north, gave me these two things, and they fit just under, and I thought it looked really nice. And I put toys in here that the kids play with. When they come over, this is there. They know that they can take out and dump and play and, and uh, you know, make... Uh, do whatever they want. This, this is a sculpture made from a helmet. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine who's an artist, uh, Baruch Zilberschatz, mm -hmm. he used to live in Mitzburg, he um, was in the Yom Kippur War, and his birthday was Yom Kippur, so like his mazal was Yom Kippur. Everybody else was killed in his group. Only he wasn't, and he was hiding behind a bush for a few days, bleeding. But then he had, an, he took another helmet, and he made this after the war. And I asked him for it for a gift, and he gave it to me. This is a uh, vase made by a cud, made by. Uh, um, a ceramist who's a religious man who lives in Mitzvah He teaches at the yeshiva there. He's very nice. That's Nahum uh, Tabitsky. And this was in the house in Spain. I brought it. It's nice. It's one die, like uh, for Purim. It's mm -hmm. a, a, a pour, you know, a for a chance. And these, this is a game uh, of uh, Hamesh, if I mean. but I have more. These are paintings. This is uh, my granddaughter did this, Hoshen, and I did this years ago of her mother. And this is the Shechem that we had in Mitzbaramon until they made it Shechem. It looked like a college campus, you know. I mm -hmm. made it look like a college campus here with the two doves because it's an army store, so I put the two doves. I've got paintings in here mostly from the past uh, three years. Well, practically all of them are from the past three years. 
Some of the smaller ones are from before. I had about 40 small paintings stored somewhere that were returned to me after I got this Maksan. And then I have a few old ones. If you stand where I'm standing, you can photograph an old one, which is very nice, of my daughters when they were younger. And my grandson is now in the army. This is a painting of him when he was two years old, when one year old. Wait, uh, maybe we can take a drawing out here. See, see a drawing. Ooh, I turned to a favorite one. Um, two people looking at the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my cell phone, and I went to the office to have them put these these four things that I use most often around here, and it has a moon in the sky over there. And it's very nice because here I just click on that side, it goes immediately to the camera, and I can take your picture.